What's up dudes and dudettes? Today I'm going to show you a couple things because uh, someone asked me to show them how I structure my tunes and the drops and stuff. So I'm going to do that real quick and then I'm going to obviously build a bass for you and give it to you because uh, that's just my style. That's what I'm doing. So I'm just going to show you with a demo of um, a song that I actually just made today for the a remix comp of uh, Fuck You If You Like This Song song by uh, 23. I wasn't going to do the competition just because, you know, the foul language and stuff, I wasn't a huge fan, obviously. Um, <laughs> obviously fucking kidding. And then today my ADD just went off and was like, yo, do it. So I was like, okay. And I did it in like three hours, so it's probably shit, but I don't really care. It's cool. I like it. Well, not really, but I sent it in. And, uh, I mean, if it doesn't get picked, then I'll probably just change it up, do more to it, and then give it away to f for free, like I usually do. So, anyways, uh, this is this tune. Um, I usually structure my intros by... I hate intros, so usually mine are just, like, 8 bars. But this one I did 16, because you usually do, like, an 8-bar regular intro, so you can, like, mix in when you're DJing. And then the second 8 bars will be kind of, like, where it breaks down and then builds up. And then at the end of your eight bars, you want your drop to always eat into the, the intro, not the actual song. So, like, this is the end of my second, like, the end of the 16 bars. This is the little drop right here. This is where it just drops and then picks up for the next 16. So when you're doing your drop, always eat it into, like, that bar or half or whatever into the intro, not the next part. And then you do your 16 bars. And then here I did 16 bars and then like an 8 bar little build up and then dropped another 16 because I actually changed the BPM here. This is drum step and then this is like Moomba shit. And then you got your 16 bar break again and then you know the same kind of thing as the intro it breaks down and then builds up here and then another 16 bars here I did 8 bar build again another 16 bars and then a 16 bar outro uh, usually my shits just like 16 intro 16 or 8 intro or whatever fuck I feel like 16 body 16 break 16 body and then 16 outro and that's pretty that's pretty simple it's pretty standard I guess nothing too fancy um, so just to go over what I usually do, um, I usually throw down a muted kick to uh, com use as the sidechain uh, audio for my uh, for my uh, instruments here. So like when I have my compressor, the audio is from the muted kick because all my drums, I usually just use one drum rack because I like to keep it like all organized and shit. So my drums are all over the place. So I usually just I I just put a standard 808 kick or whatever bring the volume all the way down, put it on the one and third note so it's clean and it's you know compressing your uh, instruments on the one and third note every time instead of all over the fucking place because you may have kicks like I do all over the place here and uh, for my effects and builds and shit I usually use Vengeance because they're pretty sick uh, I got them all here, <laughs> I got pretty much all of them uh, but I like to use the sound effects ones most of the time because that's pretty much all I need for my dubstep because I use pretty much do most of my stuff in massive for this one I did all of it um, and then just the random stems that they gave me for the remix competition for this time so I'll, 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 I'll just obviously play it for you to demonstrate you can get a little preview of the song or whatever uh, let me know if you like it because if you do and I don't win on then I'll just fucking give it away for free but if you guys think it's shit then I'll just change it and then give it away for free. So, um, I'll just play from the part where it builds up here because I think that was what he was most interested in was the drop, which is what everybody loves anyway. So here's the build here. So yeah, that's it. 
Um, you know, and then you do a little break in the middle of your eight, 16 bars, so at the end of the first eight. And then I always put like a nice little sweep up to finish off the uh, 16 bars. So I got that here. Take it up. So then it breaks down. Actually, this, sorry, this is uh, build up because now it's changing BPMs here. Sorry, I don't know if you can hear that. It's building up here because I'm changing BPM, so that's what this is doing here. So I'll just play it from there. Actually. So yeah, there's that, and then I mean it's the same thing, you know, it breaks down here, builds up, 16 bars, breakdown, or whatever. So that's pretty much it. So there you go, I hope you like that. That's pretty much how I structure my songs. Uh, if you have any more questions, like, I mean, he just asked my Facebook page, so feel free to do that, because, you know, it's cool. I'll talk back. I'm not, I'm pretty friendly. So I'm going to show you how to make the, uh... The bass that is the first one that you hear when it drops. So it's this one here. Um, so this is it. Uh, I mean, you can just freeze shot this so you don't have to listen to me anymore and just pause it and fucking print screen it, do it, whatever. But this is what it sounds like here. The fuck? Oh. And then I add my, uh, you know, my special effect that makes it nice and... But, uh, yeah, that's it. So I'm going to show you how to make it here. Um, so, yeah, whatever. We'll just uh, make a new massive patch. And we're going, going. Uh, so I'm just, like always, I'm going to crank up my fourth envelope. Because you know how that bugs me. And I'm setting the first one to Digicook 1. And for some reason I can never find... Oh, there it is. And we're going to bring all these up. And we're going to bring this down to negative 12. Next one we're going to leave on the square saw one. And we're going to bring it down to negative 24. And we're going to leave this here. We're going to crank this one all the way up. But we're going to bring the intensity down to like pretty much between a quarter and a half. Right there. Uh, this one don't mean to do it. It's already off. Well, the amp's down. I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to put a bond reject. Turn both of these up. And... I'll crank it up. I'm going to leave the cutoff there. I'm going to turn this up a little, little above a quarter, between a quarter and a half. And the same thing for the resonance, pretty much the same location. Um, I used an envelope for this one. Uh, so, the first envelope, I turned the delay up so that the beginning of it is pretty much right at like the K of attack and then you turn the attack up so that it's in line with this you can change it to however you want but that's where I like to keep it usually and then I actually turn the level all the way down that doesn't make any <laughs> I haven't assigned it to anything um, and then I'm gonna throw this on the cutoff and I'm gonna bring it all the way around to a little, a little over halfway. Yeah, something like that. Uh, I'm also gonna put it on the wet table for this, and I'm gonna put it a little over a quarter, so about there. 
and that is it for now with that then I'm going to put my B tube this time I'm putting the dry wet a little under well right between like a quarter and a half and the drive a little bit down just a little bit put my dimension expander on it dry wet halfway size like quarter like always and then the EQ just boosting the boost and the high shelf as usual so I mean before you forget just always you know put your unison up to four make it sound pretty and uh, your sign shaper and I'm gonna put this at a little over between a quarter and a half and then a little under between half and three quarters actually just a little over a half something like that yeah this is where you get the real sound here we're gonna put phase on two and then I'm also going to assign the envelope to this and I'm going to bring it pretty much to right between half and three quarters right there and that will give you some nice sound like this. I'm going to have to turn this down a bit Um, and I mean, this is what you can really play with to get the different sounds. And uh, play with your attack here. And your bandwidth. And uh, that's just a pretty fun, sick sound. So uh, there you go. Uh, as always, I'm going to put it in my uh, patch package for download. Um, I'll just appropriately title it Fuck, because that's what it was in my song. That's where I made it for. Uh, and yeah that's pretty much it so yeah it'll be in there for free download it on my page check it out and if you guys want to hear anything else I know this one was fucking long as tits but if you guys want to hear uh, any other uh, tutorials or anything just write it on my page uh, I don't mind at all it's cool and uh, yeah hope you like it check out my new tunes and uh, uh, keep listening for the um, that new fuck you remix. I'll probably make an announcement of what I'm gonna do with it because there'll be something happening I guess. Might as well not just throw out a whole song. So there you go. Enjoy. Take it easy.